Hey guys, it's Kim here with Fairly Fiber Fun. Thanks for joining me on a Tour de Fleece video. So today we are lock, uh, core spinning, and then in the plying, we're going to auto wrap. So this is actually the in the Waffle Group, the Woolen Fiber Arts Group. This is the um, make a friend, collaborate with a friend. Um, challenge which is either I think it's a day five challenge but it might be a day four okay so this was supposed to be spun on the 4th of July and I did some of it that day but not all of it so um I am just core spinning around some fuzzy yarn that I got from the thrift store or yeah, I think it was a thrift store. Fuzzy yarn is great for grabbing a hold of your fibers and um, keeping them from going where you don't want them to go. So when you core spin, you want something like a uh, fuzzy polyester yarn or, which is what this is, or mohair or brushed alpaca or something like that. Um, you can do thicker core, that is not a problem. But I really like this super thin core. You can do so much with it. And it's really easy to, to spin. I am planning on plying this. Here I've started a second bobbin because these bobbins are not big enough for the whole bat. <laughs> yeah, it, it ends up being one skein of yarn at the end. When I'm plying, I just connect them. And no, I didn't show that. I just did it. Um, but I'll talk about that when we get to that point. So I really love core spinning. I love the Zen quality of core spinning. There's something about it that is incredibly soothing. And I do need to experiment for a future project where the core spun will stay as a single and not get plied. Uh, when you are going to do that, you need to put opposite twist in your core and a lot of it. This core spinning t puts a lot of twist in your yarn. So um, you need to add a ton of opposite twist in your core if you're not going to be plying. So that will be an experiment for another day. Um, but for today, I mean, this is really fun. I love this close up here. I do have, uh, this bat has Oh goodness, little bits of felt that I cut up and little bits of yarn a couple inches long. You can see a piece of felt there. A lot of these little felt bits fell out during spinning and some fell out um, during plying, but the majority of them did all right and I wasn't worried about it. It's just the same as working with wool nips. Some are gonna fall out while you're working. And that's perfectly fine um, but I love how you can just see all the different textures and stuff in this close-up that's coming through the yarn now we're on to plying and I actually had fits with this when it started so I was just letting the auto wrap thread that's down on the floor you will get to see that in a moment close up but I was letting the auto wrap thread um, it just hang out and do its thing and it was creating these humongous loops that were getting caught on everything and I didn't want those so I had to figure out that if I just let it slide between my fingers uh, my middle finger there is holding the thread is going between my first and my middle finger so I'm holding the plying thread with my thumb and finger and then the auto wrap thread is just floating over the middle finger. And that's working really well for these coils and auto wrapping. If you put any tension at all on the thread, it gets lost in the auto wrap, in the, in the coils um, for the bubble or coil plying. But um, if you keep it nice and loose, it'll auto wrap perfectly and beautifully. So there are sections of this where the auto wrap is kind of hidden and there are sections where it is visible and there are sections where it's a little bit loopy but that's okay this is supposed to be a very fun experimental spin 
I've never auto wrap, auto wrapped ever, whether in the singles or in the plying. So this was, I mean, I, I did with the spinning beads um, tutorial, the, the second one where I was plying and that did not work well. Um, same wheel, same issue. So I'm glad now that I figured out how to auto wrap in a way that works for me. But if you have any tips or tricks, if you've done it and you know how to get it to work better than I'm doing, please leave your tips and comments down below so that I can learn from you because this was really frustrating at first. Um, I am, I am feeling better about it now that I've completed this project. Um, but for a while there, it was, it was a little bit frustrating there at the beginning. Here you can, you can see a little bit better what I'm doing, but I don't think you can, eh, I guess you can. If you look really close, you can see that thread just kind of floating between my fingers there. And I'm allowing the plying thread, which is a crochet cotton, cotton crochet thread. I don't know why I can never say that in the right order. The cotton crochet thread is what I'm plying around. And I'm just allowing the single to spiral around the cotton thread. And then the sewing thread is sort of auto wrapping around the rest. And every time I had to put it down to change the camera or move the hook, I had to very carefully hold all three strands a certain way so that that auto wrap thread would not go bonkers and create ginormous loops because that was part of the problem at the beginning. This turned out to be a very fun project once I figured out the auto wrap portion. And I am loving absolutely loving the results. Um, I have to say that this is probably my favorite art yarn I've ever spun and it's not the colors. It's that auto wrap thread just adds a little extra life and texture and fun and it is a polyester sewing thread so it is a little bit shimmery and shiny um, I would imagine this thread would have been used for embroidery and embroidery machines, but I'm not entirely sure because it was a big, there was just a big bin of it at the thrift store and I bought several colors. Now I'm wishing I had bought a lot more colors because I love this thread and I needed colors that I don't have. So, but when I was at the thrift store, I didn't want to spend a ton of money and I didn't know what colors I would want. So of course I didn't buy one of each, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.